Hey everybody, good morning. Happy Saturday, it's Dr. Deb. Say, so let's talk about two things. The first thing is, when we have a fixed mindset, how does that affect our start of the day? And then the second thing is, how can we turn it around? So I wanna share with you a situation right now. One of my kids doesn't wanna do something. We registered that child for swim class. Actually, not swim class, to be on the swim team. Okay, they're done with swimming, can go do lifeguarding, but not until another year, right? Got to get into a physical activity. I've also gotten off the bandwagon with weight training with this injury, and I want to get back into training, right? So all morning long, my teenager had a mindset of, I don't want to do this. I want to go back to bed. So... We're just on the tail end here in Minnesota of a winter snowstorm. So that mindset of, I don't want to do this, I really want to go back to bed, had that person, my child, teenager, forget four things this morning. Four. Yeah. So we're driving the car, and it's so beautiful here. I mean, if you could see the trees, it's like we're in a winter wonderland, winter globe. So I said to my child as we were driving, and I had to drive slow because it's, it's a part of the neighborhood that's, you know, there's a lot of deer. And I said, wow, look around. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. And I thought, all right, all right. We got to turn this around because if our mindset is fixed on something and something negative, then we'll forget stuff. We'll forget our hat, our mitts, our boots. Oh, um, our goggles, right? All the stuff that we need to prepare for our day. So what happens is if we're focused on something so negative, that is what grabs our attention. That is what is going to distract us from, say, a positive opportunity or for stay, staying safe, right? But we can't turn it around. So we're driving the car, and I said to my teenager, who I love, course. No refunds. I said, I, I want to thank you for something, baby. Kids looking at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> and I said, I want to thank you for helping me get up this morning on a Saturday and to go to the gym. I want to thank you for helping me take care of myself. And that's all that I said. That's all I said it and I continued driving and we're here at Lifetime Fitness and uh, we get to the door and I said I want you to have a really good time today mom's gonna go park the car I'm gonna go hit the gym and do some cardio this morning but again I want to thank you for helping me take care of my vessel and myself and I said because you had to get up this morning it forced me to say hey you got to take care of yourself too it's time for you to get back and start taking care of your vessel and caring for yourself. So I looked at my child and I said, you help remind me to take care of me, Marcus. Now you know who it is. It's my son, Marcus. And what did he say? I love you, Mom. And he's smiling away going to the door. I could have as a parent easily, because I haven't had any coffee yet, for any reason, just because... It's like, really? Do we really have to do this? And sometimes that's what we want to do. We just want to say, really? Do we really have to do this? And instead, when we take a moment to pause, and my moment of pausing was looking at the trees, seeing how beautiful it is, and thinking to myself, you know what? If it wasn't for my son's swim class, I'd be skipping out today too. What else do we skip out in, in life? What else do we gripe about? In life there are ways that we can turn things around whether you're a parent and you want to try this technique with your kids or maybe you want to try it with yourself and write a sticky note you know what alarm thank you for waking me up you remind me of what's most important in life and what's most important right now in this moment is helping my child as well as helping myself to get back to the gym and yep I know you can hear it ready listen for it That's hail, people. 
It's not pea size yet. It's looking like it. <laughs> oh, for shit! All right, you guys, this is Dr. Deb Hay on a Saturday morning. I hope you got some nuggets out of this. Put the comments below. I want to know what you think. Do you think you could use this? Could you see yourself using this information and turning your day around or helping your child or your partner or someone that you know yourself? Put your comments down there. The only way that I know that this shit's working, I know it works for me, but I want to know if it works for you. All right, you guys, make it a good Saturday, eh?